shot a nice eight point here in Pennsylvania. All right, guys, this next hunt you're going to see is my archery buck in Pennsylvania. I got permission this year on this property, did a lot of scouting in the spring and summer months. Um, hung one stand and prepped a lot of trees to hunt out of from my saddle. Uh, this particular day, it was November 6th. I get my dates right. Um, decided to go to the pre-hung stand. The wind was right. Uh, the day before I hunted out of the saddle on that property and seen a bunch of bucks, different bucks chasing does. So I knew that there must have been a hot doe in the area. They're running all over. Nothing came by me though too close to get a shot. So I decided to sneak in here the next morning. I was prepared to sit all day. Um, brought all my gear with me, all the camera gear obviously. And I think the hunt lasted maybe two and a half hours. So it didn't last very long. Um, this buck actually came in within range the doe seen me moving the camera so i actually opted to let him walk by um, past the opening figured you know i wasn't gonna push the issue he got by me he got out of range and he actually decided to turn around and come back within bow range to uh push off a spike that was kind of encroaching on his doe there so i hope you enjoy it uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to Run and Arrow YouTube channel. Um, also, check them out on Facebook and also Instagram. So, we appreciate all the support that you guys give us, and hopefully, we can bring you more videos. Enjoy. <laughs>
save area. I didn't have the GoPro on. They kind of snuck in on me, but I did uh, get it on film. Just shot a nice eight point here in Pennsylvania. I'm gonna go climb down out of the tree, pack all my stuff up, and I'm gonna go track it. I think he fell maybe 50 yards away. Looked like a good shot, so we're gonna get down and we're gonna go see what we can find. Stick with me. All right, just got down from the tree. I'm gonna go over here and track this buck. Pretty sure I seen him fall. Let's see if we can uh, locate the arrow first. Nice shot. I know he is kind of over by this brush. But I never seen my arrow sticking in the ground. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Got some, got some blood right there. Focus it. So this is where he was standing. And he spun. Still don't see my arrow though. Oh, there we go. Really bored out now. Good blood there. Oh, I see a body. There he is. Isn't that a great sight? First PA buck. Right there. Right in the golden rods. He didn't go. I don't even think he went 75 yards. Oh, my arrow didn't go all the way through him. That makes sense. Okay. First year using the crossbow and that's why I couldn't find my arrow. Right through that front shoulder though. Said he didn't take long to die. He's a pretty big body deer, actually. Hey buddy, dear, I get this out of him. I wonder if he broke it off in there. Oh man, yeah, he broke it. That is broke. Well, what are you gonna do? Nice buck though, I'm excited. It is about the size of the ones that I had on camera. Not super giant, but real decent buck. Nice body, big body deer. Great deer, couldn't be more excited. I'm gonna get a tag on him, get him drug out of here, and uh, process him. Great morning, it is now 826. Didn't take long. Well here he is, we got the tag on him. First buck in uh, Pennsylvania. He's uh, actually only a, a seven point, he's missing a brow tine here, but he's one of the ones got on camera and one of the more decent bucks out on the property that I'm allowed to hunt. First buck ever with a crossbow and he only went about 70 yards, so nice clean kill. Um, make sure to subscribe to the Run and Arrow YouTube channel and you'll be able to see this hunt. I uh, got the whole thing on film and 
want to check it out, go ahead over there and subscribe. We'll have a lot more content for you.